So hi, uh, today we are going to learn how to connect SDVNA file with the UMAT uh, and uh, with the Abacus input file. So all you need to do is first uh, you need to uh, uh, complete this uh, initial uh, Abacus model. Then uh, you need to create an uh, Abacus job and find whatever the name is. Then continue and click OK. And here uh, the new job I created this job three. So you can go there and uh, make a right input. And uh, then uh, the your input will be available in your corresponding uh, folder. Only thing is you need to uh, find it. So in my case, uh, my one is available in C M file folder. So I uh, I opening this uh, file first it's better if we can uh, copy paste this file to another place uh, copy paste um, we will copy paste to into a different folder so i will copy here and then uh, you can open this one in visual studio only thing is you need to copy paste this initial conditions type equals solution commas user in your user defined field so here come here just copy paste this one copy it's run there and you can save this file and yeah, then when you're creating the UMAT, you need to uh, have this part there. And whatever the, uh, whatever the state variables you have, you can define them as like this. So this is my state variable one, and I have defined it like that. And uh, then uh, you need to create a new, again, new job, create, and you can go to model input. And you need to select the file you already saved. So my one is job three and continue. And you need to select this uh, file. So I'll be selecting my file here and then click OK. Only thing is uh, you need to finally you can submit it. Then it will run and it will give you the change is state variable one. So you can click here and have monitor and you can monitor your analysis. And so the program is running now. And finally, you can see the results of state variable one. Us. state variable one so that's my uh, final results and if you go to x y data create opt output and if you select stb1 you will see uh, here if you select this uh, not So it's starting from here and it's still uh, changing like that. So that is my state variable one. Thank you for listening.